2020 has by far been one of the most craziest years of my life, which I imagine is exactly the same as a lot of you. I welcomed my baby girl into the world at the start of the year. Baby boy is now due in Feb. I quit my job as an assistant this year, full-time YouTube, full-time golf coaching, full-time second-hand club sales, which I never thought would happen, but I honestly enjoy so much. That graft, that find, that hustle, finding the deals, showing what value you can get for your golf game, and taking the pleasure and the beauty of older golf clubs at such a good price that they become majestic. 2020 we've had a lot of ups and a few downs and loads of restrictions and the fact the channel has done nothing but grow throughout the entire time I can only thank you guys for the support that you've given it. 2021 I promise is going to be much bigger, much better, especially when we can travel, see other people, meet other people, you name it. However, I thought I'd do a top five best finds, best hauls best gold mines that we've had over the course of this year in terms of golf clubs on the channel and finding those deals just to show and sum up and maybe give you guys that haven't been watching the channel for that long what is possible what is achievable to build a great looking golf bag but on a budget guys thank you ever so much for all your support in 2020 i hope you have a really really good new year let's go Guys, good morning. How are you doing? Very exciting today. Just going to go and pick up a two iron, which I can't believe what people are paying for it. Now, I'm not going to sell this two iron. I'm paying 80 pounds for it. Um, somehow, Andover is the best place in the world for uh, second-hand clubs because I keep going to Andover, which is 30 minutes from Newbury, to constantly pick up golf clubs. And um, yeah, anyway, so I'm paying 80 pounds. Currently, at the moment, these things can be listed up to 150 pounds, and people have been buying these two irons for 150 pounds over the last three months. So One at two iron acquired, really good condition. Definitely needs a clean, um, uh, but overall, really happy with it. Don't know what shaft it is. He said it was stiff flex, which I'm pretty sure it is. It looks like it's been reshafted because that's not the original ferrule as well. It'd be nice for me to kind of build it to what an original two iron when it first came came out um, it would have been obviously if I put a graphite shaft in it that won't happen so a bit uncertain what I want to do with it but overall 80 pounds quite a lot of money but I'm quite happy with it Oh my god. This looks, let me show you. Okay, so there's the invoice that's come in. So obviously £100 for it, £7.50 in terms of delivery. Really quick delivery, highly rate. I think it's Golf Club's Warehouse, which is the um, uh, company on eBay. But look at the box. So I've got basically 52 Vega heads in this box. They've all got individual waiting stamped on the front of them the majority of them are still in their wrappers now that is obviously the blade version the vm02 and i've got each of these for two pounds here they are in all their glory 52 heads all together now i've separated them vc01 which is kind of um uh, the middle iron your blade which is an absolute knife um, they're so small and then we've got a couple of like these dual cavity basically muscle back three irons which are quite cool and to be honest that's probably the one i'd pick um, at the back there they're just four and six iron heads now condition wise some are in wrappers which look great some um, have got broken wrappers some are pristine some of them haven't even got a wrapper at all in terms of quality wise i'm going to go through each of the heads in a minute so you get an idea um oh, but in terms of quality wise if you've got this kind of taken on this second hand like club series so far on the channel i'm excited and nervous a bit 
more of an idea, especially from my perspective when it comes to club fitting, what is necessary in a bag and what isn't necessary. I'm on my way to Queenborough. Now, if you don't follow my Instagram, I posted this picture um, uh, three days ago, just before the weekend, a listing, Callaway Epic, and it was Callaway, not Callaway, Callaway Epic Golf Clubs. Just a picture of a full bag of head covers, iron head covers, um, the bag itself, for £650, collection only. And it was just literally newly listed. I tried to ask more questions, but then I was worried that someone else was going to buy it. Because potentially, if these are all Callaway Epic Golf Clubs, um, uh, potentially the irons as well, we're talking £1,500 worth of golf clubs in there. Now, it's fair to say when Sue's colleague came out from the back of her shop and showed me this Callaway Diablo bag with the rain cover still on, I did, well, you know, slightly... Well, you get the point. But then I took the rain cover off to show exactly what I was hoping to be in the bag. What you're looking at here is a full set of driver four woods, that's it, four fairway woods, one hybrid and six to sand wedge in graphite. And they're all in really good condition. Now this set, brand new, when it would have been bought, would have cost easily more than £2,500. We're talking £400 for the driver, £250 each for the woods, £180 for the rescue, and £1,500 for the irons. These Callaway Epic irons were so expensive when they came out. But now you look at how they valued over the last two to three years, and it's always the same. I do find with Callaway, they love bringing out like the Big Bertha series, for example, this year retailed at £220 in graphite at the start of the year. And at the moment, they're currently valued about 140 below. Which begs the question, where did that £80 a club go in the space of half a year? Mizuno is fast becoming one of those brands that is getting more and more expensive, especially in the second-hand market. But with that all being said, I think I found a full set but unbelievable price. To pick up um, a full set of Mizuno clubs, driver, woods, iron. I do say full set, there is one iron missing out of the iron. But I think that's going to be easily replaceable and a good reason why this set is such a good deal. 40 minutes later I have a full set of JPX 825 woods and irons. Obviously the 6 iron is still missing but the overall condition is really good. I'll wait till I get up to the range to show you um, them in all their glory. Um, uh, I wanted to get the irons first so I know how to match the shaft, lie angle, length, everything exactly so it matches the set nicely but for 150 this whole set is an absolute steal. Oh, yeah. So if you ignore this sexy little thing in the top right hand corner here that's going to be for a future video. I've spent £300 on this bag and if you're just starting the game that's quite a good looking bag now the reason i bought this for 150 pounds and didn't really look at the description is because i saw seven irons in the thumbnail or the picture displaying these as well as three woods and i thought for 150 pounds that's just a superly good price well i didn't realize it's missing a six iron and there's actually a gap wedge or sand wedge in the bottom which is really good because potentially i could just sell that individually i'm it's not going final I don't care what any of you say, all 33,751 of you, I have won 2020 when it comes to finding the best deal online in terms of golf clubs. Let me show you. Guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's Simon down here at Sanford Springs Golf Club. What a deal. 
I always get messages from you guys and I love it. The deals that you're finding on Facebook or eBay, uh, Gumtree, um, going, Simon, love the videos, look what I've built on £100, which makes me very happy as that is the whole point of this channel. That being said, I'm a very competitive person, therefore I had to stamp down my authority and come up with arguably the best deal I've ever come across in terms of golf clubs. Let me show you the bag. Okay, let's not beat around the bush. 250 of my finest pounds was spent on this entire bag. JPX 900 forged irons, Mizuno wedges, we've got a radius putter, another radius putter, night concept putter, three woods, need I say more? Give me the title for best deal. This is the part I'm going to give away to you guys, um, uh, Radius. I hadn't really actually heard of this brand. Um, uh, it's more of an unknown brand, but the putter itself looks fantastic, and I think it'd be a cool little putter to give to one of you guys. Um, so make sure, obviously, if you comment down below, I'll just pick a random comment going forward. Two other putters, which I'll show you in a second. Obviously, the new Mizuno irons have come out this year, so as any iron set, woods, whatever it might be, these become cheaper. And the JPX 900, I have to say, the 919s are my favorite because they don't have this blue and I think they're styled beautifully. But these are gonna give you just as much control feel and pure um, forged metal Mizuno golf goodness as any other set that's come out. 5.5 Project X shafts in them with multi-compound grips. These are the ones that I kind of made me buy the set because I'll show you the photos that I saw on Facebook. There wasn't many, the quality wasn't great, and these have been listed for over a week on Facebook. And as I said, it's probably my fault why Facebook is so competitive in the UK, because I should keep showing you guys, and at the end of the day, I want you guys to go and find great deals. But normally, if you haven't found something or haven't messaged a person within an hour of them posting it, it's gone. So this had been listed for a week, and I was quite concerned, or not I wasn't concerned, but I was just wondering why no one actually pulled the trigger on this. I didn't realize these two other putters came with it because they weren't in the photos. Obviously the bag's in great condition. I'll show you the woods. The woods aren't in good condition, but let's be honest, I can't complain. Three lovely MPT4 wedges down the bottom here. Love it. Okay guys, there you have it. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. As I said, if we get this video to a thousand likes, that'd be epic. Um, uh, subscribe if you are new, and I'll catch you guys later.